Hello everyone, this is Father Ed, and today we're going to look at half tones and selecting a specific order in which the V bit will carve. We're going to open up a new file. We're going to create a new file. And for this particular lesson, we're going to make it uh, 20 inches wide and 8 inch, 12 inches long. And we're going to make it 0.25 inches thick. And we're going to use MDF. We'll select OK. We're going to import a bitmap and we have selected this particular picture that we have created in a half tone. And now we're going to convert it to vectors. Over here, trace bitmap, fit vectors to selected bitmap. Preview. Apply, close. Now, if we click on one of the vectors, it clicks on all of them. And we cannot select an order in which it will carve with this. So we are going to ungroup the entire group. So we're going to ungroup this. And now when we select one, we can sele we select one rather than it selecting all. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start at the bottom right hand corner. First of all, I want to um, uh, uh, hide the bitmap itself. So we're going to just look at vectors. So I went over there and just hit the light bulb, which hides that particular layer, which is the bitmap layer. Close. Now I'm going to continue and I'm going to hold the shift key down. And now I'm going to create an order in which I am going to select. So I select the bottom one and go to the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one, the next one. Whoops. Back it off. This, 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 this. Select, 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 select. Now we're about halfway through and we're going to continue to select until we have all of the vectors selected, one right after another. Now as we select, we need to pay attention to make sure that the whole picture is selected in the order. So watch what happens here when I select this one. We've missed this one. So I'm gonna go over here and select that. I'm not concerned about these small pieces. And in fact, that's one way to clean up um, uh, the file. So we're gonna to continue to select, whoops. We're just about finished selecting it. Remember, I am continuously holding down the shift key. If I let go of the shift key and press, I will lose everything <clears throat> and have to start all over again. So once I have finished selecting all of the vectors that I want to carve in the order that I have selected it, then I will move over to the tool path. Okay, they're all selected. Now I'm going to move over here, tool path, and I'm going to choose V-carve. Okay, as we continue, we have all of our vectors that we want to carve selected in the order in which we want it to carve. So now we're going to go over to the V-carve bit and we're going to uh, select a 60 degree V bit. We're going to carve it one tenth uh, of an inch deep. 
But here's the here's the, what we need to do right here. Use vector selection order. That is going to follow the order in which we selected each vector. So we click on that and then we calculate. Once the calculations have taken place, then we can look at what it will look like once we carve it. And we can slow down the motion um, of the virtual carve uh, to see the path in which they will carve. Just a little bit more calculating and we will be ready to preview it. Okay, now we're ready to look at how this particular carve uh, will look. And I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to slow the speed down all the way so that as we play it, you'll be able to see that it's going to start. The carve will start at the bottom left-hand corner and it will move uh, towards the top right-hand corner. So here we go. The significance of having it carve in order is, is that sometimes the, um, depending on the quality of your uh, CNC router, um, sometimes the depths change as it goes along. And if the depth changes on you um, and it's in order, it doesn't show up nearly as significantly as if it if the carving hops all around. So that's why we try to keep it in order. So that's it. Uh, that's how it will look. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.